It's been 15 months since we've had cruise ships in the water. Now, cruises are scheduled to happen as early as this month. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, travel agents have already been booking cruises. And she tells me that she's been flooded with calls of people wanting to travel. They want to go on cruises. She says those cruises are scheduled to probably start late summer, early fall. It's been a long time. And for those that are diehard cruisers, um, yeah, they're not giving up. They're ready to go, to, you know, today if they could. Margie Jordan, a travel agent, says she's gotten a lot of calls from people who want to book cruises. With all of this time that we haven't had cruises, you would think that travelers at some point will become discouraged. Cruise ships haven't sailed the ocean for 15 months because of the pandemic. Now to make up for the lost time, cruises are charging more for tickets. Pricing is going to be a bit higher than what we would normally see at this time of year. Jordan says one cruise ship, the Celebrity Millennium, already set sail this month. However, two passengers aboard Celebrity Millennium's first post-pandemic voyage tested positive for coronavirus, despite the company requiring everyone on board to be vaccinated. The governor of the U.S. Virgin Islands, a popular cruising destination, is concerned with what the turn of ships will mean for its people to have travelers that we're not assured of that have been vaccinated or at least PCR tested is traumatic. And when you talk about places like uh, these small islands, they have one hospital. Jordan says there is something people should keep in mind before booking a cruise. I think there has to be some realistic expectations. Um, I know we we shut down the entire industry uh, trying to contain COVID and just reiterating the fact that I don't think there's going to be a moment in time where a ship is completely without risk of someone getting COVID. And coming up at 11, I actually got the community's input. Would they want to go on a cruise right now or not? That's all coming up at 11. I'm live in Jacksonville, Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.